Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose and today I have a gear review. An actual uh, piece of equipment for survival. But before that I want to talk to you about something else. And that is water. Actually it relates so you'll get it. Uh, so water is key to human life and pretty much all life on planet Earth. Um, and it's something that you shouldn't take lightly in survival. Obviously, if you're going to the desert, it's going to be priority number one um, for most people. Um, but depending on where you are, in Minnesota, I'm from Minnesota, we don't necessarily worry about water because we're surrounded by tons of fresh water. But even then, in water, there are issues that can affect the human body in a very negative way. And by that, I mean uh, with parasites and bacteria and protozoa and other um, viruses and things that can be floating within the water that you attempt to drink. So you're going to want a way to purify that. Now, depending on what you do, um, there's different ways of purification um, from, you know, pumps and filters to survival straws that filter things out um, to even UV lights that will kill bacteria and, and the protozoa and stuff that are in the water. So, speaking of that, you know, we all have containers. Container for water, uh, have plastic ones, we have metal ones, we have different sizes and different shapes, and they're all great. They all do a fantastic job of holding the water, but unless they have a special nozzle to filter, they can't necessarily filter water or um, how do I say, disinfect the water. That's where I was chilling on uh, Kickstarter when I saw a very interesting product, and that is the Soul Water Reservoir, or it's a solar disinfection water bag. Uh, this was on Kickstarter a couple months ago, uh, and I thought it was really interesting, and I thought that the survival... Uh, aspect to it was really cool and the fact that it's flat and thin and easily packable and light was a tremendous value for anyone's survival or bug out bag kits now it was finally uh, published or released based on support from kickstarter and there is a website you can go to tortoisegear.com i'll put a link in the description below and you can check it out um, so besides it being just a water bag, it obviously can hold and carry water up to a liter and they have three different variations and sizes of this bag. So we'll talk about just the overall holding of it. It says right here it holds up to a thousand milliliters or one liter of water. Now I'll tell you right now, um, when I filled this bag uh, and it was open, it looked like I had all this extra room. So when you fill the bag, definitely fill to this line because when you actually close the bag, the water will uh, be pushed up. And if you fill beyond that, it'll easily overflow. So you don't want to waste water in that sense. Um, and it's, it's good. It's a packed water bag. So if you're looking for a lightweight way to carry water uh, that doesn't take up space, once you come to a water source, you can pack a couple of these in your bag, put them in, and they're not going to pop in your bag unless there's some sort of tremendous amount of force. So besides, you know, when I go camping, I always carry two liter, oops, bottles. But sometimes, you know, depending on the hike or the trip, you might need some extra. And uh, I've done that before too, and it would have been nice to have something this compact and small. So now talking about the features of this water bag, and actually, real quick, there's three different sizes. Oops. This is the survivalist size. It's the most basic size. Um, holds one liter, and it just has a ba basic zipper enclosure. It has grommet holes and then a carry handle, and that's about it. The other size is the day tripper, which holds the same amount of water, um, but it has a little bit more reinforced two-finger handle, and it actually has a pour spout or drink spout uh, on the bag. So... Um, there's that, and I believe it actually, uh, you fill it from that cap. So it's like a water bottle cap, um, but you can fill it and then pour it and drink it so it's easier to maneuver and move the water around. 
And the other size is a larger two liter size and that is called the Backpacker. And it more or less is obviously larger, but it has a the drink spout, water spout at the bottom, but then it has an open top enclosure that you can open up fully to open up the entire bag and fill from the top and then reseal it. And then it also has a reinforced uh, two finger carry handle as well. But that one, the two liter one, does not stand on its own where the uh, day tripper and the survivalist can stand upright on its own, which is pretty nice. So now speaking of the features, so basically how this works, this is called solar disinfection. Uh, for um, an abbreviation or a simpler term, they just call it soldis, uh, S-O-L-D-I-S. And the way it works is we have a clear um, panel, plastic panel, or the clear side of the bag is clear. And then on the other side, it has reflective mylar. Now, when you put it in the sun, you're supposed to put find as clear water as you can, put it in the sun for uh, a number of hours, and then through uh, the sun's UV rays, it'll go through and kill all the bacteria and um, protozoa and make the water 99% drinkable. Um, and if you've ever watched uh, Dual Survival, Cody Lundin does it with a garbage bag and there's other um, survival channels. Bear Grill did it once with the clear Nalgene. Um, but the unique thing with this is because it has that reflective mylar on the back, it doubles the effectiveness of the solar disinfection. Uh, so if it was clear sighted on both, the UV rays would go through and completely go through the bag. Well, because it's reflective, it'll go through once and then reflect back. So if, for whatever reason, if you want to think of my hand and the rays of sun going through, it'll only hit one side of whatever the bacteria is in there. But by reflecting off, then it can reflect back under and hit the bag. Now, when you put this out in the sun, I recommend that you put it so that the bottom is facing away from the sun. That way, it'll come down, reflect off that, as well as you have a back wall of mylar to reflect in. Um, if we do it this way, uh, the one side of the mylar will actually create a little shallow shadow that could potentially compromise the effectiveness of this bag. So definitely, when you put it out in the sun, put it so the bottom is away from the sun and hopefully everything works out great the nice thing about these bags is that they're labeled really well you know bpa free dehp free and paphylactate whatever free <laughs> it's a one liter bag emergency water storage and solar disinfection bag it has uh, markings for measurements as far as water. I mean, maybe there's no sun and you want to use a purifier tablet. At least you know how much water you have, and it's good to go that in that capacity. On the back, now this might be hard because it'll be reflecting. Um, so I'll just read it. It says, uh, for collection, carrying, storage, and solar disinfection of water may also be used for food collection, heating, and preparation. So this bag, these are the warnings, and I'll read these because these are always important. This bag does not remove chemical contaminants from water. This bag is not a filter. Collect water that is as clear and free of debris as possible. Use caution as water inside this bag can reach temperatures above 150 degrees. Do not use over open flames or directly on any heating elements. Do not microwave. Pretty simple. Uh, so... If you can see, uh, the other cool thing is it has printed instructions. So if you're ever out in the woods and you have this, you could pull this out. Anyone can use this just by reading the directions. It's printed in English. Uh, it tells you basically when this will work based on how clear the water is. Obviously, the clearer the better. If it's too um, dirty or if there's large chunks of debris, it says don't even try it because it probably won't work. Uh, it also gives you... Um, a way to seal it. it tells you step by steps in five easy steps how to more or less disinfect your water using the sun it tells you where to put the bag in relationship to the sun you don't want trees blocking it you don't want the mile the clear side down uh, and you want it in direct sunlight 
Now, the best feature of it is the fact that it gives you a more or less a timeline as how long it'll take to purify the water. Um, so at most, for a liter of water that is in the right conditions as clear and it's sunny out, it will take about six hours to disinfect the water. If it's, if it's spotty clouds, uh, but there's majority sun, it'll still take six hours. If it's overcast and cloudy, it'll take at least 24 hours uh, to disinfect the water. So there you have it. That is basically the water bag. Uh, I'll tell you this. Um, if you decide to have this in a kit and you're like, oh, well, I want to disinfect water, but I don't want to store it in there. How can I pour water out? Uh, it's simple with the handle when you open the bag and water is inside there I'll demonstrate real quick you'll pinch this upper part and then hold this part together and the water will pour through that little notch there and you can easily put it into a water bottle and I'll demonstrate this in the video and so all you have to do is make sure that your water bottle is stationary, hold the bag right, and carefully pour the water into the container, and you can seal it up, and then refill the bag and move on to your next liter of water. Um, also, because they're so light and compact, you can easily carry multiple bags, um, so that way you got multiple liters of fresh water that, or water that you can then solar disinfect. Um, so I think this is a great product. Uh, it really feels robust. It's not cheap plastic by any means. It holds the water tight in there. You know, I'm squeezing it. The seal's not breaking. Uh, so really impressive with the quality. Um, I haven't personally tested out the effectiveness of it, and maybe I'll do another video of that. Uh, but so far, so good. And just the potential of having a way of disinfecting water that is this light and small uh, is really kind of a peace of mind and I think this is a valuable piece of kit for anyone who wants to have an ultralight survival kit or just a compact way uh, to disinfect water and just another way to be redundant in preparing drinkable water. So thank you guys. Please check out tortoisegear.com i'll put a link in the description below again um, also click the eye in the upper right hand corner to link to some of my other videos and gear uh, and check this bag out please consider it and think about uh, putting together a lightweight survival kit so thank you and i'll see you outside